Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the speed up tricks on the ZTE Blade V70 Max. Alright, so let's begin. Let's open up our settings first. Now let's scroll down into the bottom until we find the about phone informations. We want to click on that and now we want to click on the build number a few times until we see information that we are now a developer. So let's perform that. Now I need to type my lock screen and you can see that we are now a developer. So now we, we, can, we need to go back and now into system and update. Now as you can see we have the developer options. So simply click on that. And now in here we need to find three specific values that we need to change. So we need to keep on scrolling. Okay, and in here we have the animator duration scale, transition animation scale and the window animation scale. As you can see, defaultly they are set on 1x, but to improve your speed, you can select them on 0.5 or on off. I'm gonna select 0.5 in all three cases. All right, now we need to scroll down a little bit. And find background process limit, click on that. As you can see now it's set on standard limit, but to improve the speed and the performance, you can, sele you can select at most three processes or at most four processes. So it's up to you. All right, so that's all that we need to do in developer options. Now let's go straight into the storage. Okay, and in here we have our apps and data. So let's begin with that. And in here, as you can see, we have all our apps that are installed on our phone. And when it comes to that, for example, this game, if we have some unused apps, we need to simply uninstall them. Click on OK. And as you can see, the game has been uninstalled. Same thing with the block best. And when some apps have, have the cache, for example, such as Google TV, you can click on clear cache from time to time. All right. So that's when it comes to that. You can also click on the system data. Click on OK. Oh, sorry, that, that's not the option to do anything. My bad. All right. Now, also, to speed up your phone when you go to the recent apps, if you have some apps that are still running in the background, you can simply get rid of them by performing this move or by clicking that X button that is right in here. Okay, now we can click on clean up this app, click on agree, click on allow, allow all. And for now, it's the app says that we have enough space and no need to clean up. We have remaining free space from the total 256 gigabytes. For now, as you can see, I don't have anything to, to clean, but if you will have to, you can simply select the junk files or in here you will have information that you can make a clean and clean some of the junk files. All right, it is also good to perform a simple reboot from time to time. To do it, we need to open up the power menu when the phone is responsive, of course. We need to tap the power button and the volume up button, just like that. And now simply click on restart, then touch again. And within a few seconds, your phone will be automatically turned on again and ready to use. It is good to perform that reboot from time to time because during that process, the phone basically rests, let's say that way, in that way and also it deletes some of the background processes that are running and it also helps 
with the performance of your phone. Okay, I think that might be everything. But let me think for a moment for let's go into the settings also and let's check the battery if there is something okay we can go into our settings into the battery now more settings we have AI optimization and the first option optimize when app are not in use auto clean background apps that are not used for a long time you can enable it it is also good so you don't need to you know manually get rid of the apps you can enable this option also no we don't want the power saver we can also enable the scheduled restart so just like I have said a few seconds ago when I was talking about the reboots and the restarts we don't need to do this manually we can enable the scheduled restart and now we need to select the time p.m. or a.m. and the days of the week so now let's say I will select the Sunday 9 a.m. and now that means that our phone will be automatically restart each Sunday at 9 a.m. and I don't need to perform that manually and you can also see a quick information downside you can set the time to restart your device the device will restart automatically in the condition of screen lock is off battery level is higher than 30 percent sim lock is not used after this operation your device will be clean so that's good to have in mind and when i was talking about the reboot i forgot about the force restart because i was showing you only the the method through the power menu when the phone is responsive but let's say that the phone is unresponsive we can perform any action we can perform the force restart to do it we need to open up the power menu and you can also see the information on the bottom you may press and hold power button for over 10 seconds to force restart the device so let's perform that let's keep on holding Okay, now release your finger and now within a few seconds the phone will be automatically turned on again and ready to use. Alright, so that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.